Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to ATN Bangla. This is Wahiba Rahman with the news. First, the UP headlines. Bodies of at least 67 victims in the Chok Baja fire incidents in the capital retrieved. 23 out of 37 identified bodies handed over to their families. Fire service authorities fear of more devastating accidents in old Dhaka due to chemical factories. The affected would be rehabilitated, says Abadul Kader. And language martyrs remembered amid respect and love, people of all strata Tong Shahid Minar. President and Prime Minister paid homage at zero hour. Now on to the details. Bodies of at least 67 victims in the Chok Baja fire incidents in the capital have been retrieved. Stating this, IGP Dr. Javed Patwari said 23 out of 37 identified bodies handed over to their families. Condition of all nine have been admitted to Dhaka Medical College burn unit is stated to be critical. Three of the victims are being shifted to ICU. State Minister for Disaster Management and Relief, Dr. Enamun Rahman, has announced to provide 20,000 taka to each dead for funeral. Labor Ministry has announced to provide compensation of 1 lakh taka each for those dead and 50,000 taka each to the injured. A 12-member inquiry committee with additional secretary Mufizur Hawk as convener formed by the Industries Ministry to probe into the tragic fire incident. The devastating fire broke out last night from a gas cylinder explosion near a building hoarding inflammable materials. 32 units of fire service brought the blaze under control after 10 hours of frantic efforts. According to district administration, 39 bodies have so far been identified. The bodies are being handed over to their relatives after autopsy. The near and dear ones of the victims are crowding Dhaka Medical College Hospital for information for the whereabouts of the missing five victims. The forensic department informed that the bodies beyond recognition would be identified through fingerprint and DNA test. Director General of Fire Service Brigadier General Ali Ahmed Khan has urged to shift all chemical and inflammable substances from Old Dhaka as soon as possible, otherwise more devastating incidents of fire may occur. Meanwhile, after inspecting the place of occurrence, a one million general secretary and road transport and bridges minister, Abadul Qadr, has said the government will provide humanitarian assistance and compensation to those killed and injured. At the same time, arrangements for their rehabilitation will be made. Badul Qadir reassured to take necessary steps after investigation so that incident like this does not reoccur. BNP Secretary General Mr. Fuknusa Malungir has said valuable lives are being lost owing to the government's irresponsible activities. He made the allegation while paying homage at the graves of language heroes at Ajimpur graveyard this morning on the occasion of International Mother Language Day. At this time, he expressed condolence for the Chok Baja fire incidents and demanded exemplary punishment for those responsible. Meanwhile, the news of devastating fire incident at Chok Bajar in Old Dhaka has been widely covered by the international mass media. Electronic media like BBC and Al Jazeera, news agencies like AFP, Reuters, as well as printing media including The Guardian published the news with importance. Indian news channel NDTV also gave wide coverage to the tragic fire incident. 
The nation is paying glowing tribute to the language martyrs on the occasion of Immortal Ekushe, an International Mother Language Day with a pledge of universal use of Bangla at all levels and prosperity of the nation in the spirit of 1952. Different political parties and their front bodies, various socio-cultural organizations and people from all walks of life throng the Shahid Binar since early morning to pay homage to the language martyrs. Earlier, President Abdul Hamid and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina were the first to pay homage to the martyrs by placing writs at the central Shahid Minar at one minute past midnight. They stood there in solemn silence for a while as a mark of respect to the language heroes. Later, Sheikh Hasina, also the president of Awami League, along with her cabinet and party colleagues, placed writs. They were followed by Speaker Shirin Sharmin Chaudhuri, injured freedom fighters, members of language martyrs, families, chiefs of three services and members of the diplomatic corps. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has called for writing code judgments in Bangla. She made the call at a program held on the occasion of Immortal Ekushe and the International Mother Language Day at the International Mother Language Institute in the capital this afternoon. She called for use of Bangla language in all spheres of national life. And that's the end of this bulletin. To view 18 Bangla News, browse www.youtube.com slash 18 News. Subscribe and remain with 18 Bangla. Allah Fais.